controller should be tenacious, but not aggressive. And that's really important. You know, we want somebody that's going to be able to go to the relevant people who owe us money, get that money off them in a positive way and resolve problems positively. You don't have to be aggressive doing that or bullish. And these ways of being blunt to the point, straightforward, without coming across the wrong way and being tenacious to make sure you're going to see that through is really really important as well you should be able to work as part of a team and also see the bigger picture you have to remember when doing credit control that there are lots of areas of gray sometimes you need to get input from other people and you can't just use a black and white answer for everything so showing that you're open to communication from relevant other people in your business to resolve a problem is really important a credit controller, you know, it's the person who is technically chasing the money in the business. And for me, that's a very, very important role because cash is king in the business. You know, you need to make sure that it's coming on time. I would expect that a credit controller is someone who is able to challenge but work effectively with our customers. They need to be able to ensure that our sales ledger is being kept clean all the time. There's no overdue payments. So this means that they are very, they've got good attention to detail, but at the same time, they are very diligent in their approach. And finally, I will say that the best way to be effective at a credit control job is to develop effective relationships with customers because they trust you, they, they know that ultimately you're expecting the money and as well, they are able to work with you to ensure but everything is going well and cash offloading the business effectively as well. I often say a credit controller is simply the opposite side of the same coin when it comes to sales. So just like sales, they need to have one, a really good telephone manner. They mustn't be afraid of picking up and using the phone and speaking to people. Secondly, they need to be really resilient in the face of constant rejection and being given the runaround. And thirdly, uh, they need to demonstrate a really strong understanding of the client's systems and processes, everything from how to get an accurate invoice to them to how that invoice will be processed through their uh, systems to actually get paid at the other end. For me, the top three qualities that I would look for in a credit controller are number one, tenacity. Chasing debtors can be a very gruelling process. It can be very time consuming and it can be very demotivating. You've got to have that tenacity and resilience about you to keep going even if you're going to be chasing debtors down on five or six occasions that's a really really important skill for me you've got to be able to continue pushing and pushing to generate any collections that the business needs not give up after the first attempt i think secondly you've got to be organized um, if you are regularly chasing chasing down debtors or if you're managing creditors you've got to keep on top of all of the communication what was the last um, update you received from the debtor? What was the last action you took as a, uh, when you were dealing with a creditor? Keep a record of all of those um, um, actions so that you can at any point know what the status is of this particular um, debt that you're chasing or the, or the supply of the creditor that you're managing. And it's important that you need to be very organized there. Um, I think thirdly, um, professionalism is very, very important. Often in this role, you are going to be picking up the phone. You are going to be speaking to creditors or debtors and someone on the other end of the line is more likely to be receptive to you if you're acting in a very professional way. First thing is the ability to be comfortable talking on the telephone. I've dealt with credit controllers in the past and they've tried to do everything by email or by letter and that doesn't get the job done. So you've got to be comfortable picking up the phone and clearly communicating with people because ultimately you're, you're having a relationship with purchase ledger people across many different companies. So you need to be comfortable picking up the phone, talking to them, explaining that you want to get some money out of them. They might say, well, they don't want to pay any money. So it's understanding how to deal with that uh, relationship and not be diverted. So you have to have tenacity. So if somebody says, oh, we haven't got any money at the moment, you don't put the phone down, you actually say, okay, well, when can we get the money? How can we uh, achieve what we both need to get out of this? The three things I've written down are patience, tenacity, and relationship building skills. Because, it, I mean, it seems to me that, you know, the controller has got to get the money, but even with a difficult client, 
they've got to build a relationship because the better your relationship, the more likely you are to get the, 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 the money. And, but very often, you just got to kind of hang on in there. And, and if you upset the person at the other end, you're less likely to get paid. So it's kind of like, a to me, it, it's a balancing act, act between telling you need it, but, but, but sort of maintaining the relationship. I think it's a particularly difficult role um, working in credit control. And I think it takes a, a certain type of personality and individual to be successful in a credit control role. Now, we've, we've seen quite a big shift and, and certainly post-COVID of uh, moving to um, email um, and, and chasing online. And But one of the things that I found really effective is where credit controllers make personal contact where they can um, as part of chasing debt. So I think it involves a lot of tenacity. Um, a straightforward, direct approach um, where we don't take being avoided personally. And, and we, you know, we really do need to be dogmatic in that role. So someone emails back, say, well, we can't pay you this month. Uh, you know, we're straight back in with, well, we really need you to pay because these are your payment terms. And um, and it's, it, it's for me, credit control is a constant, you know, a constant drumbeat of trying to ch- understand which customers are not behaving and not conforming to the payment terms in the first instance, um, but also ensuring that you understand the risk associated um, uh, with the debtors that, that you've got within your control.